You'll need four of these paper towel holders. I picked them up from Dollar Tree and um, this is what you'll do to all four of them. I have Waverly White chalk paint that I will paint. This is the area that we're focusing on right here, the circle. So let's not worry so much about this bar right here because it'll be hidden, but this circle is where we'll pay the most attention. So I'll go ahead and white, um, sorry, paint all of this with the white chalk paint for now and let it dry and go I to paint the next it both step. sides, this side and the inside. And remember to paint four of the these. The next step is to paint the center circle and the two bars on each side in silver. And I have shimmering, shimmering silver. So that's what I will do now. And make sure that you paint this side and the inside as well as this bar area right here. A bit hard to tell just a little bit but this this part is silver and the out outer circle is still chalk white so hopefully you can see that and we will paint the outer circle black I purchased a pack of decorative lids from Dollar Tree and you'll need two packs of those and I will be painting all four of those with metallic silver. We will use two of the bamboo skewers. They come 12 pieces to a pack. They are pretty nice size. They're like 32 inches long, but we only need two out of there. So what we will do with these is we will cut it down to one and five eighth inches, which is just over one and a half. And I to make it easier, I went ahead and I marked it with my pencil, you know, because you'll need like 24 of those um, after they're, they've been cut. I'll cut them with the wire cutters and then I will paint all 24 of them in metallic silver. Okay, now that these are dry and the silver is dry, what we'll want to do is Take the little bamboo sticks that we cut and painted silver. We want to, on the inside, on the inside of the ring here, you want to hot glue them from the center to the outside ring. You want to hot glue, hot glue those together. So that's what I'll do. I'm gonna put a dot of hot glue on one end of the little stick and a dab of hot glue on the other end of the little stick and then place it on this on the inside and it should look like that The decorative lids that you painted earlier, the metallic silver, you'll have to get these and put hot glue around the rim of them and also carefully because um, it's a very thin area to work with. And then just place it inside of the bottom of the paper towel holder and then just hold it there for a few seconds. And it should be dry. The last thing you'll do with the four wheels before placing them aside, putting them aside, is you will get two of the wheels and you will turn them opposite ends of each other like this and Place one on top of the other, and you will get a zip tie, and you will 
fold up zip tie really, really tight. And one end, and you'll do the same thing just across from that one. Pull it really tight. Like that. Okay, now that you zip tied the wheels together, um, there's nothing else to do to these right now. So we will put these aside and move on to our next step. To build the base, you will need five packs of these three pack um, 21 inch ruler sticks. And this is how they look outside the pack. You need five of these. 11 total a total of 11 of the ruler sticks and you want to put those aside and then you should have a pack left which would be three plus one so you should have four of them left that you will have to cut and you want to measure it to 15 and a half inches It. And that's where we will we'll cut all four of these. After the mark. You've cut the ruler stick um, at 15 and a half inches. So we'll have four of these. And what we'll do now is we will attach them to the 21 inch ruler sticks. With the ruler stick up, I mean the ruler measurements up or down because this will go under the bottom. You could place the, you want to place it all the way so it'll be flush with the, with the end. And just use your wood glue and glue it down. Flush across the edge there. All right, I've done that one. And we're gonna go three inches over. And mark this and put it put down another one right there. We want to start at the top and measure right at seven inches, just maybe a notch or two before seven inches, and mark that because that's where you'll want your the one on this side three inches over. Just over, mark that, and this last one should go right. So all of the wood pieces have been secured tightly with the wood glue, and this is what it looks like. Um, actually, this will be the bottom. This will be the top. And now, what I will do is paint it. I probably will paint both sides, and I will use the paint and primer, Rust-Oleum Black, and because it's everything. Now the base has been painted on the front and on the back side, and now it's time for it to simply be assembled. But before I do that, I want to tell you, I chose black, but there are so many different colors and things that you can use this particular project for using your favorite color because I could have done red, I could have stained it, school colors, college football colors, but just have now fun. it's time to bring out the wheels. And remember we did zip ties, three zip ties on each side, right here and on this side. And as you can see, they are flexible and which allows the wheels to be adjusted as you need them to be according to how many boards you use for your um for the, base. the base over so that you can see see those grooves there see that center right there 
when you put this on top of the wheels, that should fit down inside like that on both ends. So that's what we're looking for you to do right now. If this part is on top, then this part needs to be on top because they need to be even. So it'll lay flat. So it'll lay flat. And we'll fit it down in that little opening. And we'll fit this one in this opening. You can fill it when it drops down inside of there. And that prevents it One from thing, me. if you like, this is optional. If you want lights underneath, um, I picked these up from Dollar Tree and I would Velcro them so that you can have them or not have them or turn them on or not turn them on at your leisure. And I would have one facing the front and one facing the back underneath. like this and um it looks real it looks real neat when it's when it's getting dark outside i have velcro that i picked up from i think home depot and um just take one side of the velcro just one side of it and uh remove the strip here wrap it around around the handle of the flashlight like that and do the same thing for the other flip it upside down and put this in the center oh come on I can get it off of here. <laughs> I put one strip right here and I use the other strip as well so that they won't both have to rely on that this one next to it. <clears throat> I place one that direction. Uh, place another one. Oh, and you can remove this string here. I'm just showing you how to do it right now. Uh, place the other one that direction, and if you just make sure that it's secure, and it is. I'll turn them on. I'll get it. Flip it back over. Make sure these fit down in those little areas. And you can see how that goes. There we go. Okay, now for the fun part. Decorations. Okay, so I picked up all of these things, maybe except with the exception of one, from uh, Dollar Tree, just to show you an example of how versatile this station is, and um, you can use it for different party settings.